Hello my dear crystal lovers and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is AM and I am the founder of AVUV. And AVUV is my web shop where you can go and find luxurious, beautiful and sustainably sourced raw crystals from all over the world. But today we are at the plant house and if you've been following this channel, you know that when we're in the plant house, one of the main things that we do is that we go thrift shopping. This is a great spot to go thrift shopping because the demographic here is 50, 60 plus and it is a middle income segment that lives here. That means that when they want to downsize, when they want to live in smaller apartments or maybe some of the older ones, they pass on or they want to move to retirement homes. They have to get rid of all of their things that they have been collecting for many, many years for their entire lives. And this is a segment that are not necessarily well trained in selling things online. So what they do is that they donate it to thrift shops. Another thing is that this segment when they were gathering things for their homes and jewelry, um, quality was something completely different than it is today. They didn't have fast fashion and fast interior design. So they were pretty conscious about what they bought and um, the quality of the items that you'd find in a location like this is way different than it is in Copenhagen, for example. So that's some of the reasons why I feel like this is the ideal setting for going thrift shopping. What we go for is, of course, anything crystal related. So that means crystal jewelry. And there is quite a lot of cut and polished uh, crystal beads and necklaces and I've found a lot of things over the years. I never go out and buy new crystal beads for example because it does take quite a toll on nature making these products so and also the labor and yeah there's a lot of reasons why I wouldn't personally go out and buy newly produced crystal beads and also you can find Whatever you want in this area, you can find hematite, tiger's eye, you can find um, clear quartz, smoky quartz, amethyst. It's so easy to get it here in a sustainable way and at a really low cost too. Another thing that we also always look for here is interior pieces that are crystal related. So that means travertine, alabaster, marble and we have collected quite a lot of things for our home and uh, we have it all over both here in the plant house and back in Copenhagen. What you will not find in thrift shops like these ones is really high-end jewelry for example or really high-end raw crystals like the ones that I have on the AVUV shop because those things tend to go on auction and be reselled in another way. They usually never end up in a thrift shop. What you can find sometimes is really poor quality crystals. So pocket crystals or raw crystals in a really bad condition. And uh, that really is too bad. I am personally not into cut and polished crystals and there are quite a lot in these thrift shops because people they buy them for their kids and their grandkids and maybe for themselves um, and yeah I, there's really no good reason to have them because um, most often they are not sustainably sourced most often they are not ethically sourced in terms of labor and they do end up in thrift shops because people have no use for them. The same goes for raw crystals. Maybe they've bought 
a raw crystal on vacation that was in bad condition or bad quality and um, they don't really want to have it around and I can understand why I don't want to have bad quality crystals around either. So they, you can also find that in thrift shops, unfortunately. Yeah, and we're not getting any of that. We only want the good stuff. But there's like a, a different mix of things that you can get in the thrift shop. Uh, when we lived here, when I went to high school, I actually worked in a thrift shop for three years. And I had so much fun doing that. I loved it and just secondhand pre-love it just makes so much sense to me and I love it and I love like the hunt finding these unique treasures but of course also in terms of sustainability there's like nothing compared to secondhand or pre-loved items so I don't want to do a long intro in this video I just want to just give you some backstory and some background to where we are and set the scene. Um, but let's go, let's go and find some treasures. We are back in the plant house after a long day of thrift shopping and we found a bunch of things. There was this Dutch couple and I'm sure they were, I'm 99% sure they were antique dealers because they were just taking everything and they had a, a van and they were taking um, different raffia and wicker and a lot of marble. They just took all of the, the marble pieces but we did manage to get a little bit because they, we were kind of like five minutes in front of them the entire time. So that was exciting. But um, yeah, I can see why you would do that if you're an antique dealer or if you're selling vintage um, pieces because you can just find so many great things here and I'm sure they're just touring around Germany and Denmark and uh, just taking up all of the good stuff and bringing it back home. Yeah, it did sound pretty fun actually, but uh, that will be in another life. This light is extremely bright right now, so, and the background looks so dark. But here is one of the things that we found. We found this really awesome, um, what do you call it, wicker chair. We ended up getting it for around $55 so yeah pretty inexpensive for a piece like this and that was the most expensive thing that we bought all day you know that's another thing about this it's not only super sustainable and you get all of these cool things it's also very inexpensive so yeah just another reason to go thrift shopping uh, in the suburbs and I'm sure it's like this everywhere. I know it's like this everywhere in Denmark if you can find 
a middle income suburban area, the thrift shops are just booming with good stuff. If you go to the cities, the, the bigger cities here in Denmark, it's not the, the prices are way higher because the rent is also higher and the demographic is mostly young people. So what you would find there are things like Ikea furniture and those types of things. So what is so cool about the thrift shops here is that it is these things that people have collected for a really long time. Maybe they even inherited some of uh, the things like um, silver, silverware and what else, what do you call it, china, porcelain, things. So you can definitely, definitely find some really old pieces too and some really high quality pieces. I didn't find a lot of crystal related items this time around or I did find it but I didn't want to purchase it because I didn't need it. But like I said, you can get so much jewelry and especially cut and polished crystals of any kind. I was kind of tempted to buy a tiger's eye necklace, but it's not my favorite crystal, but I just passed on it because um, yeah, I'll leave it for someone else who would enjoy it more than I would. But you can get so many of these crystal items in the thrift shops here and I would definitely recommend that you go and find it there instead of in a store. So what else did we see? Oh yeah, so we found a crystal, a raw crystal. And I love when I find these things in thrift shops to show you guys because of course I didn't buy it. It was really poor quality. But I want to show you guys what poor quality raw crystals look like just so that you know what not to go for. And um, this was probably a crystal that someone got a long time ago. It was really old and dusty, but you could, you could definitely see that this was not a good quality crystal to begin with. And maybe this person got a better crystal. In this case, it was a clear quartz. So most likely that person did get a better quality crystal. And that's just too bad because why even bother getting the poor quality in the first case if you don't have the means to go out and buy a high-end clear quartz or any type of crystal save up your money and you will just save in the long haul because most likely you'll go out and buy a better quality crystal later on anyways i really enjoy that i can go to thrift shops and show you these poor quality crystals because I, of course I couldn't go into a shop and show you what they're having in the shop. You can do that yourself, but I can't do it here on the channel, but I can show you when it's in a thrift shop. So the crystal related items that we got, I'm gonna take those first. I got two really beautiful marble vases. I'll just show you. So this is the bigger one and here's the smaller one and the small one was less than a dollar and this one was uh, what would that be um <laughs> just a second i'll calculate it so i'll just tell you in dollars just so you get an idea of what the prices are the small one was less than a dollar the big one was six dollars so, I mean, if you were out buying new marble pieces, new marble vases like this one, it could easily go for a lot more than that. And I love the patina on these ones because you can definitely see that they have been used. What I love about these and why I have so many is because you can use them for flowers, of course, and plants, but you can also use them for cutlery or wooden spoons in your kitchen or for pencils or whatever like a lot of things for makeup brushes so it's just a way better purchase in my opinion than going out and buying something new and marble is just so 
such an awesome material compared to glass or plastic or something else like this will literally outlive you and I love the longevity of uh, these materials generally I go for natural materials I love having natural materials in my home and that's why I got this oh, just so cool chair back here and uh, it was pretty inexpensive we got a really good deal on it and you can do that in thrift shops too if you think something is too high in price you can definitely go and ask for a lower price if you feel like it's not a good price so we got this one for let me just check so this one we got for 40 dollars and i mean you can't really compete with that right there's what i love about it is that there's it's like only wicker there's no um, nails in it and um, it does seem to have a little bit of um, some type of coating but other than that it's like all natural materials and we're gonna bring it back to Copenhagen and put it in the living room and then I got so these are pretty cool too these were less than a dollar as well and um, this is definitely vintage it's definitely more than 50 years old, these plates. But it's these stoneware plates that was also really, really popular. Mostly, I would say, back in the 50s and 60s. So my grandparents would have dinnerware like this. And I really loved the craftsmanship of it. There was a completely different uh, tradition back then in terms of buying good craftsmanship and a lot of people were actually able to make these things themselves. These are labeled, um, just labeled Danish design Denmark, so they are definitely made here in Denmark, and there was a lot of this type of China made here in Denmark um, back in the days, and I love it. <laughs> and then I got more of this stuff. If you've seen my other videos, I am so crazy about basket weaving and yeah, I just, I love it when it's natural materials and there's nothing other than just the natural materials. <laughs> what a great explanation. <laughs> no, but um, this is what I got because it is just perfect for flowers or when I'm out in the garden yeah it's awesome and this one was um, what was it five dollars there's less than five dollars so the prices are just so good I believe this one is actually willow and I am going nuts about willow baskets at the moment <laughs> oh then I got this I'm just going to take one because I got three of these terracotta pots and uh, they've been used and I like that. I like the worn in terracotta pots. I love it's a natural material, it's clay and uh, it's just the perfect pots for your plants. Yeah, I'm definitely going to take them out and, and do some things in the garden with them maybe in another video. And they're quite big actually, and I love that because they do have a tendency to dry out a little bit, but if you get the bigger size, you don't really run the risk of uh, the plants drying out. Last but not least, I got this one, really random, but this is the, a thing that you put over your food if you're serving food outside, so I'm definitely gonna use it this summer. I think that was it for the videos. Um, the battery is running out, so I have to go right about now. Okay, I'm running out of battery here, so I'm just gonna say thank you so much for watching, you guys. If you enjoyed this video and would like more of this type of content, please make sure to like, share and subscribe. It really helps me to know what you guys want me to talk about, and it helps others to find this content if that is what they're looking for. Have the most wonderful day with so much love to you and to yours. <laughs>